ability to adapt to changing circumstances is one of history's most obvious lessons. For example, when developing air power, one had to look forward rather than backward to predict what would happen and what had already happened. Layered air defense systems provide all-around defense against contemporary symmetric and asymmetric threats, including small high-speed aerial targets. These systems are used to cover air force bases, strategic assets, vital military infrastructure, and other land-based mobile equipment. Without further ado, now that the ground-based air defense system is prepared to launch, let's learn more about NASAM's technology. The Kongsberg Raytheon NASAM's air defense system has a net-centric architecture. Numerous simultaneous engagements beyond visual range BVR, capabilities and is tightly integrated and tailored to a country's Integrated Air and Missile Defense IAMD. Twelve nations currently use NASAMs, including clients from the Air Force and the Army. The Raytheon AM MPQ 64F1 Sentinel Active 3D Radar, the Passive Electro Optical and Infrared Sensor, and a number of missile canister launchers with AMRAAM missiles make up the conventional NASAMs unit's modular construction. For best efficiency while leveraging the special abilities of the AMRAAM missile, a number of NASAM's fire units are often networked together in a specially developed hard real-time communication network. This ensures minimum latency across great distances. Designed with an emphasis on operational flexibility for protection of air bases, seaports, populated areas, other high-value assets, and army forces, NASAMS is by nature a highly mobile system. NASAMS is built to function in Arctic, subtropical, and desert environments. With fewer components and a larger area of coverage, the radar and launcher components can be placed more than 20 kilometers away from the FDC. Target detection and tracking are accomplished by the NASAMS using the Raytheon MPQ 64F1 Sentinel High Resolution 3D Pencil Beam Surveillance Radar. A passive electro-optic and infrared sensor, a hard real-time communication network, and an embedded and standalone mission planning tool are also included in the system. The NASAMS performs the Battle Management Command Control Communications Computers and Intelligence BMC4I operations using a Fire Distribution Center Command and Control Unit. It contains 12 missile launchers and a new radar. Raytheon and Kongsberg extended their collaboration on NASAMS through 2025 by signing a 10-year deal in June 2015. Following the Spanish Army's acquisition of four units in 2003, the United States has used NASAMS to defend the NCR since 2005. In its conflict with Russia, the United States decided to dispatch two NASAMS to Ukraine in July 2022. The delivery of modern missile defense systems to Ukraine, which has repeatedly requested Western missile defense systems as they contend with a barrage of Russian aerial threats, is the first of two authorized shipments. While the U.S. promised to send six more NASAMS units to Ukraine in August 2022 to help with the protection of Kyiv, the country's capital, as well as the defense of its vital resources and population. While Ukraine will receive the first two of the eight NASAM systems in November 2022, the U.S. State Department voted to approve a potential foreign military sale to India on February 10, 2020, for an estimated price of $1.867 billion of an integrated air defense weapons system IADWS, that includes NASAMs too. On the other hand, on August 22, 2022, the U.S. Department of Defense announced a deal worth $182,295,333 for the purchase of Ukraine's National Advanced Surface-to-Air Missile Systems. Here we are towards the end. That is all for today, folks. I hope you enjoyed this video. Do not forget to subscribe to our channel and do hit that bell icon on your way out. See you all next time. Adios.